Okay, this is the uh, the adapter I've just fitted onto the top there, the SO239 to BNC adapter on top of the um, antenna analyzer, and it's showing the antenna analyzer actually connected to my antenna through the um, MFJ945E ATU. Um, you can see there's a 50 ohm um, load presented at the transmitter port with an SWR of 1. Um, this is what the antenna looks like with the um, without the ATU. So that's the uh, uh, sorry without yeah without the ATU. So without the antenna tuning unit actually doing anything with it just bypassed. That's what the antenna looks like. So you can see that the SWR is 3.9. The impedance is 178 ohms. Now, if I put that tuner back in, and you can see we're back to the good match, so you're back to a 1 SWR and impedance of 50 ohms, what I can do now is I can just see how much we can deviate from that frequency without before we get an SWR that we need to worry about. So I just press that, like that, and press and hold that. Now when that uh, 3 stops flashing, like now, I'll be able to adjust that frequency. So what I'm doing now is I'm adjusting that center frequency. So there we go, adjusting it. And I can get to, oh, before it changes at all. Yeah, so that's 7.079 .07 before it starts thinking about changing. Still changing the frequency there. It's 1.1, still usable, it's not going to hurt anything. Down to 7.06261, just gone to 1.2 at 7.060. Uh, so, you know, 1.2, it's still not going to bother anything. I could nip that in with the ATU very easily, but um, I'm just giving you a, a, a demonstration of just how you can look at the, um, the bandwidth of the tune on your, on your ATU. So before you need to fiddle with it, um, you know, how far could you deviate from your centre frequency that you tuned it to? So that's 7.051. It's just gone to 1.3. Yeah, you can go down to 1.4. So as you get to a 1.5 point, there you go. So 7.025 is 1.5 to 1 SWR. And we'll go back up in frequency. So we'll go past our 7093 which was the center frequency. You can see those. I hope you can see those numbers change. So 7093, there we go. And that's the center frequency where we've tuned our ATU. And we've got the really nice match. And uh, we'll go higher in frequency and see where, see how high we can go before we get to the 1.5 SWR. So we're going up, going up, going up, going up. Still 1.1. We're on 7127. That's 1.2. 7141 is 1 1.3. So really this is quite broad. You know, you could you could tune this once and um so if you wanted to talk to the Americans on 7151, for example, I think that's or is it 153 they use? I can't remember now. Someone told me the other day, it's a fairly common frequency they use. Um so we've tuned the ATU for 7093, we've got a a one SWR. We've gone up the band, it's now 7.153, and we've only got a 1 1.3, 1 1.4 uh, SWR at the moment, it's still showing 50 ohms, so it's pretty broad tuned really. And uh, to get it up to go to 1.5, how far off frequency do we have to go? There we go. Let's go back a bit. Might have been a tad enthusiastic there. So we'll just go to there. There we go. So 7.170 before you get to a 1.5 to 1 SWR. So you can go from practically 7 megs uh, right the way through to 7.170 and it will be 1.5 to 1 at each end, at the high end and the low end. And the SWR will be 1 um, with, uh, on 7093 which is where we tuned it to, or where I tuned it to. I'll just put it back to 7093. But this just gives you a demonstration of how easy it is to look at your, the bandwidth of your antennas, uh, the bandwidth of the um, the tune on your um, on your ATU, 
um, 7093 there we go like that and that's uh, let's just put that back and if I press that again um, it doesn't disturb the memory the, that will that 7.093 was the favorite frequency will stay in memory too nothing will change um, and it's just so simple to use and just so versatile it gives you such a lot such a lot of information uh, with as you saw so so little effort uh, the UKITS FG01 1260 meg antenna analyzer part 2 thanks for watching